But here we are in the men's singles. There's 13 groups in the men's singles. And uh, this group A, with Lee Chong Wei as the number one seed, there are just three players in the group. Uh, Derek Wong, uh, the other from Singapore, who carried the flag for Singapore in the opening ceremony. And here's another player that carried the flag in the opening ceremony. Soren Opti for Suriname. So all three badminton players in Group A were given the honour of carrying the flag in the opening ceremony because Lee Chong Wei, the world number one, led out Malaysia. Red or yellow? Well, Red. The umpire. Red. So Simon Dennis, out. Lee Chong Wei. Well, he's openly stated this is his last Olympic Games at the age of 33. That's perhaps not surprising. But what an occasion for this young man, just 19 years of age. I got an invitation through the tripartite scheme. Didn't qualify by right due to his world ranking, as every other athlete had to do. So Lee Chong Wei, as I say, 33 years of age, born in Georgetown in Penang, the world number one. His opponents, his world ranking down at 326, but what an honor to carry the flag in the opening ceremony. Of course, Suriname has only won two Olympic medals and they were both won by Anthony Nesty in swimming, the 100 meter breaststroke, and who could forget that? final in Seoul with Nesty as we look at our umpire when he beat Matt Biondi in a thrilling 100 meter butterfly final. So for young Soren Opti uh, to uh, follow in the footsteps of such great athletes from his home country is a real honour. Well they're supposed to have a three minute warm up time, that didn't seem like three minutes to me. Li Chong Wei, this is so desperately important to him. And for Malaysia, Malaysia have never won an Olympic gold medal. Could he be the first? Well, the pressure and the burden of expectation from the whole nation rests on his shoulders. So the world number one, Lee Chong Wei, twice a silver medalist in the last two Olympic Games, getting this match underway. Whoa. This Group A encounter, well, there may not be too much doubt about the final outcome of this when you've got the world number one playing against the world number 326. But what an experience for Soren Opti. A chance to play, not only in the Olympics, but a chance to play against a man who will go down as one of the greats. I know people have argued that his four finals in world championships and his two finals in Olympics don't make him a great because he hasn't won the coveted gold. I beg to differ. I think he is a great. His style of play, his whole conduct on court. Plus, of course, his other results. 95 major international tournament finals, having won 64 of them. Our elite tier of tournaments is the Super Series. He's been in 60 finals. He's won 43 titles. No other badminton player has won as many, and that includes the doubles players, who, of course, some of them have chances in both doubles and mixed doubles. To me, he will always be 
a great player, Lee Chong Wei. But I remember prior to London 2012, he said he needed a gold medal to validate his career. Well, I think I beg to differ on that as well. But I understand what he says and what he means. It's gone wrong. And this for Lee Chong Wei, I think will be an opportunity just to settle his nerves with his Olympic campaign. Now, oh, how did he get that back? Oh, his retrieving ability, Lee Chong Wei, is absolutely extraordinary. There's their coaches, his coaches, Tasu Bok nearest to us, and Hen Deroan. Further away, Hen Deroan. Olympic silver medalist in Sydney 2000 when he, as a player he was representing Indonesia Nine, well, it's all happening in double quick time isn't it In game, Lee Chong Wei, the world's number one, is very much on cruise control. Eleven two at the mid game interval. Yeah, and Tay Subok. Yep, I suspect that was. Yep. Doing well, just get used to the conditions. Enough said. It's just sensational. Well, Sora Nocti needn't worry. There's very few players in the world that would have got to that one. Singles is very different tactically to doubles. Singles is about using all four corners of the court, trying to outmaneuver your opponent. So you push them to, back, to the back, bring them forward, hit down the backhand side, then hit down the forehand side. So you're making them twist and turn, get them out of position, and then that's when you start going for your winners. So you have to work the rally first in singles. Get your opponent out of position. Back, front. Here we go. Push to the back. Push him back again. It's nice clear from Opti. Yes, yeah, good rally. Oh, 
Oh, yes, look at that. All about taking the shuttle early. When you get to the shuttle early, you have plenty of options, and it also means that your opponent has, has time to get back to their base position in the center of the court to then be able to move to any corner. Yeah, pushed into the back, brought him forward. Back again. Bring him forward. Yeah, tactically. So clear from Lee Chong Wei. He's the one commanding the rallies. Two points from this opening game. Now just the one. No, it's been a run of 10 straight points. It's 10-2 up, now 22 up. Yeah. No doubt that the world number one means business. 21-2, the opening game against Soren Opti of Suriname. There's Hendra one talking to him. 21-2. Oh, I'm surprised that the coaches are taking that long over the conversation. Hendra one and Tesu Bok. Yeah, even time for a little smile and obviously very, very happy with their player at the moment. Now, as far as the Suriname coach is concerned, I would recommend that he gives his player just one thing to focus on. He is such a young player, 19 years of age, and this is really about gaining experience. He's not going to beat Lee Chong Wei. Certainly, Lee Chong Wei looking in very confident form at the moment. Forty-one entries into the men's singles from thirty-seven different nations. Thirteen groups in the singles. And it's just the winner of each group that goes through to the knockout stage. So having cruised that opening game, Lee Chong Wei, the world number one starts the second game and he will I suspect want to get this done and dusted as quickly as he can yet yeah, Malaysian fans ever present at every badminton venue around the world Saying 41 players in the men's singles divided into 13 groups, and that doesn't go equally, does it? And that's because there are two groups with four players in. That's Group E, which features the two time Olympic champion Lin Dan, and Group P, which features the two time world champion Chen Long.
Yeah, there really is a, a bit of a gulf in class between these two players at the moment, but I'm very impressed with the way that Soren Opti, yeah, still giving it his all. And he will learn tremendously from this experience. There's many other sports, if any, that has one of the group pools in whatever sport it is, whether it's football, rugby sevens, beach volleyball, volleyball, whatever, that features players who were flag bearers in the opening ceremony. All three players in this group A chosen to carry the flag. That's a delightful shot. A little hold and flick. There we go. And it's not often that Lee Chong Wei is left stranded. That was lovely play from the youngster from Suriname. Turner serve, played with topspin. Oh, my goodness, service error there from. Yeah. And Opti gives a point back with his own service error. Eleven two. The flick serve. Always be wary of a flick serve coming after your opponent has made an error on the low serve. So again, and 11-2 up here in the second at the mid-game interval. Well, even confident enough to just glance across at the adjoining court. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, got Lee Chong Wei under pressure early on in that rally. Opti. And he just couldn't convert. And that's the difference at this really elite level. You've got to expect every shuttle to come back. You can't think the rally's already won. Serve just too short, gifting the opportunity for Lee Chong Wei to play the winner.
Yeah, well done. Yeah, the crowd appreciate it. And a wry smile from Lee Chong Wei. Yep. Always a good thing to try and better the number of points you got in the first game in the second. Two points away from securing victory. Make that one point away. That's it. Well, Lee Chong Wei, a class above his opponent today. But what a wonderful experience for Soren Opti. This is a moment and a match that he will remember until his dying day because to play the world number one in an Olympic competition is pretty special. But Lee Chong Wei, comfortable winner of that Group A match. Dropped just a total of five points throughout. So confirmation of the score, 21-2, 21-3. And Lee Chong Wei, the world number one, off to the perfect start. So, one service error apiece in that second game that lasted just nine minutes. Job done for the world number one, Lee Chong Wei.